Lesson 4, Arterial Diagrams Window. Hi, this is Chris Georges with TrafficLabs.com. And this is Lesson 4 on our series on the True Traffic 9.0 software. We will go over the Arterial Diagrams window and all the buttons there. Like in previous lessons, there are many features that will have more effect if you have all the data in your model. So I'll show you all the buttons, but their, but their use may not be apparent in this lesson. Look for more details in future lessons. Let's go ahead and start off by opening up where we left off in lesson three. And let's start by opening the West Brambleton Avenue and click on the diagram tab. In this box, you're telling the artery how you want the information to be, to be displayed time space, platoon progression, time location. The first type is your typical time space diagram that has time in the vertical axis and distance along the horizontal axis. When this is done, the slope is equal to the speed. Another type of diagram is a platoon progression, which is a diagram that will add traffic volume data to the diagram. Again, it's just like the time-space diagram, but now you've added platoon progression. You can, and if you have the volume data within your model, um, you'll actually be, you'll see the characteristics that a platoon progression diagram gives you. The last one is time location, which is a helpful feature to some users, and you'll have to try it out yourself and see if it works for you. Let's go ahead and leave it on time-space. Size is self-explanatory, but I want to point out that there is a correlation between the size of the diagram on your screen and what you print out. I oftentimes produce videos from True Traffic, and this is another place where the size of the sheet matters. And it's more about proportions for your screen, uh, or how your diagram looks on your screen. Your height is 6.5 inches and your width is 9 inches. Um, if you if your arterial is uh, a longer arterial, you may want your not your width to be something more than nine, so you can show uh, a greater distance along the horizontal axis. Or, in the same manner, if you want to show more cycles, you may need more than 6.5 inches to show that. Again, the the important thing is is about the proportionality of it all. And this size, where you see actual inches. This will come into play when you're actually printing out these time-space diagrams at the end of your project. The position button is similar to the size button, but you won't notice anything until you print out. Uh, do know that the center, that center on the page usually works best. So usually you do want to keep it checked on center on, center on page. Um, but like I was saying, it's kind of like the size. Um, you, you will see, you'll see the effects of it when you print it out. Now, unlike size, Changing your position doesn't necessarily have a change onto what you see on your screen. This is more of a, a printout feature than a, than a look at your screen feature. We already went over scales in previous lessons, and I just want to point out the locked and unlocked feature. Just keep in mind, if you want the scales in a diagram to be unlocked, or if your diagram needs to be at a specific scale, uh, having, your, having your horizontal or your vertical scale unlocked will have will let true traffic make some adjustments if it needs to to show to show the diagram better but if you lock it uh, true traffic doesn't have that flexibility but again the advantage is you know what you know what your scale is and you know that scale isn't going to change especially when you're printing out uh, the next tab is the artery tab and we went over pretty much all the fields in this one already I do want to point out the flexibility you have by adjusting the forward direction per arterial I just know that you've already set the forward direction in other windows, but just know for each arterial, you can now come back and change um, what that forward direction is. The next tab is the directional tab. The directional tab is a useful tab to help the diagram to be accurate. By clicking the one-way box that corresponds to the forward direction, here you can specify what speeds the green band should be based on, design speed or posted speed. You can also give your diagram a clean feel by not showing every single green band if you decide to show multiple cycles on your vertical scale. The last box is show all clip band, which does exactly what it says. And you can search through the help 
section in the program for a discussion on the topic. The last tab is the fonts tab and it's here you can play with how your diagram appears on your screen and how it looks when you print it out. I make videos from the true traffic screen so I often will use this screen to help my fonts pop out. You can do this by, by increasing the size of the fonts or making it bold. That does it for, for this quick overview over all the buttons in our arterial diagram window. Again, this is Chris Georges with TrafficLabs.com. And look for more videos in the links portion of the website or simply search for True Traffic 9.0 on YouTube.